All right, today we're taking a look at my tilt bed trailer. Um, this thing is going to be about 18 feet on the tilt bed, and then I got about an 18 inch uh, ramp on the back. So it's a little over 19 foot total length on that. And then at the front of the trailer, I go 48 inches from the front of the trailer to where your hitch is going to be, to where your ball is going to be. Um, that way when you turn left or right, it's not really going to bang the truck into the uh, side of the trailer. And I use the bulldog type hitch, so when it's on there, it won't come loose. Safety chains. I got a 3,500 pound crank jack on there. <coughs> now, on the main trailer frame, I'm using quarter by two by four rectangle steel tube, and you can see that, and that's where I weld my torsion bar axles directly to. I love torsion bar axles, uh, a lot less maintenance, a smoother ride with a load. It will bounce a little bit more without a load, but with a load it'll ride a lot smoother. And then I've got my six lug wheels, 15 inch tires, uh, 2,830 pounds capacity on each tire. When you tandem them like that, it's about 2,500 pounds each. So that means the trailer's good for about 10,000 pounds going down the road. The trailer's going to weigh about 3,000, so that gives you about a 7,000 pound load capacity, which will haul anything that I have. Now on the tilt bed, I'm using channel for the most part of that. That's four inch by quarter by one and three quarter wide for the main frame of that. And then down the center, I did use another piece of my two by four by quarter uh, rectangle steel tube just for the extra support. Now, in between, I've used the channel uh, up front where it's going to support my wheels. And then every 48 and a half inch on center for my deck plate. So I have that. So I've got big supports where my deck plate will be. And then where I just need to support so it won't give that 10 can effect, I'm using one or a two inch by quarter inch flat stock, welding it like that so it'll support. That's where you get your strength is the up and down to get away from that tin can effect with your deck on there. And on the outside where my tire is going to be, I use some quarter by four flat stock and some quarter by two flat stock to support where my tires will be when the vehicle or my bobcat is on here. I added hydraulic assist mainly to keep the bed from slamming down when you have a big long heavy truck on here. Um, it'll tilt up just fine by gravity, but on a long wheelbase vehicle, I'm afraid that when you come over center on this uh, weight, that it'll slam the back of the trailer up into the bottom of the car or truck. So to prevent that, I added this hydraulic cylinder, and I'll be adding a hydraulic pump up front once it arrives. So I'll be making another video um, to show you the completed trailer. But like I say, I'm using torsion bar axles. Well, those direct to the frame. Those are 80 on the pad and 94 outside of drum to outside of drum. That way you'll have about 102 max when you're going down the road. Now, I like these hinges that uh, I got off of eBay. Well, the dough's on there, so it will hinge and tilt. And I have... <coughs> six of those on there and they're greasable and I think they were not very much like ten dollars a piece or something like that um, so they work out really well for that like I said it's going to be about 19 feet uh, length of bed and counting the ramp and then the tongue is four feet with 3,500 pound crank jack now I'll be making another video 
when this thing is completed. But for right now, this is going to be about it. Um, if you have questions, uh, leave them for me. I'm going to post this on YouTube and probably on Facebook. A uh, nice little trailer. Like I say, capacity total is going to be about 10,000 pounds. So to haul about 7,000 pounds uh, of a load capacity on there. And I got a first coat of some paint on there and my hard to reach spots. And I'm going to put the deck on it and finish painting, mount everything up. And then I'll be shooting another video. Again, for the main frame, I've got quarter by two by four rectangle steel tube. And for the main frame on the tilt bed, I'm using quarter by four by one and three quarter uh, channel. And then some quarter by four and some quarter by two flat stock for extra support in my tires and the deck. Got any questions, comments, let me know. For right now, that's it. Thank you for watching.